Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna quickly walk you through how to use the in-app filtering grid views and column chooser functionality, which will allow you to analyze a spreadsheet result like this one within the app without exporting to a clunky Excel file and make the process repeatable and efficient so you can apply the same filters to every list going forward with just one click. So first thing we want to do is filter this list of 482 products to a short list of products that sell uh, quickly enough, that have demand on Amazon, and also those that sell for a profit and don't have very much competition. So how do we do that? So we're going to filter it down. I'm going to go with sales rank that's less than or equal to 100,000. Now I'm using uh, demonstration numbers here. You may have your own. Uh, so this is just demonstrating the functionality. Uh, profit will go with greater than or equal to $5 per product. ROI greater than or equal to 50%. Sometimes package weight is interesting because um, you can uh, avoid heavy uh, uh, products that will cost you in shipping. So let's do package weight is less than two pounds. And we'll filter offers between three offers on a listing and eight offers on a listing. You could see we very quickly got to a short list here from 482 products, but we're not quite done yet. Um, we want to account for additional expenses. Uh, first thing is inbound shipping. This is the, in, if you're doing FBA, this is the cost, the shipping cost uh, from your warehouse to Amazon's warehouse. If you're doing uh, fulfillment by merchant, uh, this is uh, your overall shipping cost to uh, fulfill the product. So since we're doing FBA, I'm going to say our shipping cost is 50 cents per pound. You could see the profit and all the numbers changed immediately. We don't really have any prep. Uh, we don't really have any tax or VAT. And we do want to calculate multi-packs. So we're done there, right? So now I've applied all these filters. And um, if you look at them, if you look at the filters here in the filter builder, you can see that these are pretty generic. And I'm probably going to apply these similar filters to um, all my lists going forward. Or you may have two or three different variations of filters you apply. But for the most part, they're very similar because you're looking for similar things. So if you uh, go in here and save your view, I'm going to name this one Test Filter 1. What that does is it saves these filters and you could now apply all of them uh, simply by clicking one button. So we're going to go back to where we started. This is the standard view with no filters applied. And we can now go in here and select test filter one. And with one click, it'll apply all of those filters to this list. We can see they're all the same filters and um, we did it in, with one click. Now you could do this on any spreadsheet moving forward and apply filters and filter a list with one click. But what if you also wanted to change um, the order of the columns or which columns are being shown here? You could do that as well. So let's say, for example, I wanted to make a view where um, we rearranged columns a little bit let's say we you know this is again for demo purposes only i'm going to move some stuff around now let's say we also wanted to add some columns so we click the fill the column chooser here and i'm going to add parent asin i'm going to drag it in right there i'm also going to go ahead and add uh color right after title 
and maybe um, we're going to add the manufacturer. Okay, so now that we've done that, we could save the view as test filter two. And now you can see that all of those settings, even the column order and the column choices are saved. So now I can go back to test filter one and see what that, filter, that, that view looks like or test filter two, which applies all the filters, but also remembers my column order and column choices in the, in, in the results. I highly suggest you guys use the column uh, chooser and uh, customize your view and um, create some filters and save some views. If you have, if you have a view that's your, that you, you would like to see as your default view, meaning that every time you open a spreadsheet, it will default to that view. You could simply click this Make Default button. And now when you open a view, any view, or when you open a spreadsheet, uh, it, will, it will now apply that same filter to every spreadsheet as your default view. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. And you could reach me at support at analyzer.tools.